How is everybody doing? I am Ryan. Uh, I work on Pro Tools often. Uh, in my job, there's a variety of things that I do. Sometimes I work on one project for hours and hours. And other things you do, you might bounce 100 files in an hour. And certain keyboard commands, certain um, you know ways of saving files are very important to be very efficient. Uh, it was something I learned from Dave Pensado, I don't know, a long, long time ago now, where you could simply go into uh, the system preferences, go to keyboard, go to application shortcuts, you do a new one here, and then uh, you can add the Pro Tools app. I am bouncing, and then I am exporting clips uh, often, and I wanted to have a much simpler key command shortcut uh, to do that. So for me, on my keyboard, I've got the F13 uh, through 15 keys over here that are completely unused. May as well use those. The F15 is very important because it's the rightmost function key. It's closest to my right hand over there, and um, I'm bouncing often. And so I needed it to be, um, you know, handy. So anyway, you get into Pro Tools 11 and you learn that all of those keyboard shortcuts you created that worked brilliantly no longer work. Uh, basically, what you need to do is go to the hidden library. Again, I don't know the vernacular of uh, Mac coding or the file structure or why they name things, what they do. Or So I apologize if I don't use proper terms, but the library that's hidden, you got to go to that. So if you click up here to go, I mean, the easiest way I know to do it is just uh, hold, uh, actually forget, I've changed my uh, control option command keys around. So I think it's option. It's one of control or option. Hold that down and boop, it pops this up. Uh, click that library, then cruise on down here to preferences, and then scroll down pretty quickly. What we are doing is we are taking the code, the code from Pro Tools 10 and earlier in its plist file, and copying it and pasting it into the Pro Tools 11 plist file. So you want to start with this one, the digi the com dot plist. Open that. I've already got it highlighted. Uh, you'll see it. It'll look like this. It'll start at the top. Sorry, I'm using Text Wrangler. You just need to be able to look at code, basically. Text Wrangler, I believe it's still free. I, I've had it a long time. You want to highlight the uh, NS user key equivalence section. So start with the key, go all the way down to the DI, the dict, and just copy that. You can close this because you don't want to screw with that. Uh, com.avid.protools.plist is the Pro Tools 11 version of that file you just edited. I've already got it in here, but uh, in fact, very quickly, I forgot. Let's uh, quickly pretend like you didn't see this. Yours will look something like this. I won't have this space, but it'll look something like this. You want to put it uh, in down here after this uh, NS nav panel expanded state for save mode stuff. So give yourself an extra couple spaces so you can see what you're doing. Pa just literally paste in what you just did. Hit save close that and when you go to pro tools it'll now have your fancy little shortcut so this is pro tools 11 by the way not 10. i don't know if there's any glaring ways it's got this thing up here i think that's new for pro tools 11 so that proves that i'm in there probably could go uh, to this and show you that that i'm in pro tools 11 if you're calling me a bald-faced liar anyway uh the point is it's extremely simple but it's something you got to go into the deep, dark code of the hidden library preferences files to fix. That's how you do it. Hopefully I helped. If not, eh, well, it was free. What are you going to do? Bye.